Hey, how's it going? Ah, I gotta adjust this. Hold on. How's it going, everyone? Paul, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What's up, Mercy? How you doing, Bamboo? So, um, I was gonna do this on OBS and go solo solo, but um, I know that Bamboo was wanting to. I don't know if you wanted to open that or not. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you though. But um, so I went ahead and went to StreamYard for now. I I kind of want to keep it still solo, but um, because I don't want to be up all night. But <laughs> sometimes it happens. But uh, cheers to everyone, and thank you so much for being here. It's um nice to be able to do a little tribute to a brewery every week. Something I started last week, so uh, it's always fun talking about a favorite brewery or a brewery that comes to mind. Hey, Corey, what's up, man? Welcome, bro. <laughs> Let me get this. Uh, there we go. Patch of heaven. What's up, man? All right. <laughs> so I have a brewery, another one. And hold on. I got to <laughs> I wasn't really uh, prepared. So, um, uh, Miscellaneous Mag sent me those beers that I put up yesterday, and um, I wanted to do one of them on here and tribute it to that company, and it is Monkey Buddha Brewing Company. Um, hold on, I got a big itch in my eye. I washed my hands. <laughs> no, no problem, Bamboo, no problem. That's awesome. 59, count here, Mercy. <laughs> so, um, raise your glasses. Let's drink a little bit here. So we got Funky Buddha Brewing Company. <clears throat> Funky Buddha is a pretty cool brewery, man. Um, let me go to their site and get that up and share the screen. I had a cough fest. I'm not sick. I just had a coughing fest. Hold on. Dang it. Okay, here we go. So, Funky Buddha is out of uh, Oakland Park, Florida. All their information is on their contact page. They also have Facebook, uh, which is, I'll load all these up, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. So hit up their header on their thing and follow them. That's their Facebook. That's their Twitter. That's their Instagram. And I'm going to subscribe to them right now. Right on Funky Buddha. So the beers that I've tried from them are awesome. This one right here. Let me, uh, well, I'll show you this after. We'll show you the beer, the the one I had, though, that was uh, generously given to me by Miscellaneous uh, also was the uh, Imperial Stout with coffee and vanilla. It was an amazing. It came in a 22 bottle. It was awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so scared is what it's called. Um, I did a review on it. It was uh, an amazing beer. Their beers are abs absolutely awesome. They're off the hook, in my opinion. This is all of them, yeah. Looks good, huh? Cocoa kick, chilla thrilla, tropical ale with mango, and what? Four and a half percent, 10 IV is a blonde ale, okay, with mango and guava. I couldn't read that. Maple bacon, oh, oh my goodness, look at this. 6.4, it's a porter, that's a, that's a nice number, that's a good, good number for a porter. 35 IBUs. Nice. Flavors of sticky maple syrup, roasty coffee, and smoky bacon. Wow, weird. Oh, that's crazy. See what I'm saying? They got crazy stuff here, man. Uh, what else do they got? Is this all of them? They got more. No crusts, peanut butter, and jelly brown ale. Oh, my God. Six four thirty six. 
I love their labels. And I love how they have all their uniform, like their labels are all the same. They just have obviously, you know, different images and stuff, different graphics. But I like how they're uniform in that they have their logo in the same place. Everything is together. Their website looks off the hook, um, on point. They've got all their, uh, this seems like they're together with what they have. It's nice. Uh, I don't know how long they've been open. I probably could have found that out. What is this? Cool. Okay, that's their core beers. <clears throat> their goodness series. What's a goodness series? Look at that tap. That's sick. This one I've had last night. That was yummy. Tasted like apple pie. It was really good. Fruited hazy IPA. So I imagine they added fruit, possibly. New England style IPA. It would, I mean, is it just the hops, or is elevated with dank resin, resinous galaxy and mosaic hops, along with juicy aromatic star star fruit? So star fruit was added. Set your flavor ranges to warp speed and engage. All right, I'm trying to get this uh, exciting. <laughs> they have a beer finder. You can find it from find it uh, around your area. I can't find it because I'm not near there. Visit the brewery tap room. Get thirsty. What's on tap now? See, they've got it together, man. They let you know everything before you go. I love that. I love this so much. They got a lot of crap on fucking tap. Damn. Holy moly. Membership club. Join the funky family. Hundred bucks. Brewery tours. Most breweries have tours. FAQs, food menu. They have a food menu also. Um, spent grain pretzel. You can see it all here. Seven bucks. They don't seem to have bad prices at all either. Burgers are that's pretty pretty uh, norm. Maple coffee, candy, bacon, yum, dang, what? Holy smoky. Chicken and biscuit, flirty and battered French toast, shrimp and stone ground grits. Ay, ay, ay. Cuban doubled eggs. Oh, my God. Uh, crafted experience. Look at that place. That's a cool place. Yeah, man, they got it going on, man. I'm going to have, I, if I ever go to Florida, I'm going to have to go down there. That's just straight up awesome. Donation sponsorship, jobs, Funky Buddha events, Fusion Flow with Yoga Joint, da da da. Who gives you all the dates, prices, this, that of all the events, all the information when you click on them? Um, Funky Buddha News, basically their blog. And, Everything they want to put up, the events, everything. Yep, yep. Contact page. You know, good, good website. Good, good company. Um, let me get back to y'all. Sorry. But uh, yeah, no, that's cool. Um, I like. Uh, I gotta go see them. I gotta go visit them. But this uh, this beer I had was very delicious. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. It was a 12, first 11, 9.7%. But the beer of choice today, the one I'm going to review, Empty Porter, not the tent pole. <laughs> Lone Star, Mr. Bean, Mercy. All right. Corey. Bamboo, Dagon Hills, how are you doing? Good old Paul, what's up, Paul? All right. Yeah, I just took you through a, a nice little, uh, it's probably boring as shit, but uh, <laughs> it is brewery tribute. Nah, 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 nah. All right, so time. Let's, uh, this is an old beer. I got I to gotta pound it. So what we have, <clears throat> it's got these beautiful glasses. They're very nice. We have, um. Funky Buddha, Last Snow, it's a coconut and coffee porter at 6.4%. Has a date, 
Mind Blown, 7th of November, 2019. Four months, five, four, five months, five months old. <laughs> Hello, Lone Star. Cheers. So, roasty, nutty, and creamy. Nice. I love coconut, I love coffee, and I love porters. Let's open this up. Right here. All right. So we have a two finger head. Very, very mocha. Very, very coconutty, like nutty coffee. It's um got that dark roasty smell as well. Kind of a, a roasty, nutty kind of smell. Very, a lot of coffee comes really crazy out of this. Big time creamy, like a creamy vanilla coffee. Almost like uh, maybe a, like a cappuccino or something like that. Sweetened up, kind of smells sweet. Mmm. Dang, man, wow, burst of flavors and smells. I can just like ah, and taste it by smelling it. We uh, we have a cocoa tan head, let's say khaki. Um, the bubbles, uh, carbonation's running up the sides fairly quick at a fast rising pace. A fast rising bubble, maybe a medium to fast. You can see them streaming up. It's a dark brown in the glass, looks black but it is a dark brown in the light frothy silky head lacing the legs looks nice looks like it's starting to hang on let's taste it mm. very creamy like it said very roasty toasty coconutty nutty um that a, a bit of dark chocolate in there and that coffee that milky coffee that uh cappuccino coffee really bursts out of this legs look good on this it's all hanging on nice retention seem to be pretty good as well very coffee very dark chocolate coffee nutty coconutty very nice kind of a silky feel in the mouth mouth feels real creamy and silky and um, kind of finishes off with the, with the dry finish uh, about maybe about 75 down 75 percent of the way down to start to dry off um yeah it's not bad it's really good every beer i've had from them is amazing every beer that i've had so far and this is the third one i've had from them <laughs> it's just delicious can't go wrong with this company i'm telling you folks if you can find them in your area, grab them. Wow. Out of five hops, I'm I'm gonna give this um let me do one more. Hmm. Hmm. I like where this is going. I'm gonna give you five hops. It was good. It was very delicious. So thanks again, Miscellaneous Magnets, for that. Um, very good. Very delicious. Cool, man. So thank you, Funky Buddha, for making these awesome beers. Man, oh, man, oh, man. What is up, everyone? That was a 15-minute um, tribute to a brewery. <laughs> and now I just sit here and drink a beer with y'all, chat, have a little fun. I may have to, I, I actually might have to open this panel just because it's so much fun. I just don't want to be up all night. That was bubbly as all hell. <clears throat> so 
It's been kind of a crazy day today. I'm just kidding. It wasn't that crazy. Uh, it was actually boring as fart. <laughs> Mm, man, this beer is good, dude. Let's do that. It's, this is a good beer, man. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm serious. I mean, I'm serious, man. What's up, good day? How you doing, man? Sunfish, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, Peter D, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm self quarantining. <laughs> yeah. uh, just opened up a small double. In the in the morning, you sound like me, man. <laughs> you sound just like me. I mean, I, seriously, I have beers at four, or five, six in the morning sometimes. And Cheryl, how you doing? <laughs> just had a, just gave a five to this awesome beer. Holy crap! That was given to me by Miscellaneous Magnets. Good beer, man. Mm. Who all can go to that brewery? Is that brewery? Are you guys anywhere near uh, Florida? Or uh, can you get their beers in your area? I'm curious. Just out of curiosity. Just a question. I know I can't. I wish I could. I got a new sunfish and you need to name one. I need to name one. I don't know what to name it. Uh, <laughs> um, our goldfish name's Moby, but I mean the kids came up with that name. I think. <laughs> Excuse me. Definitely see my uh, Peter D. I am, dude. My wife's at work. Well, she you know she works out you know, while I sit here and try to find you. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, no, you know, she brings home all the diseases to me now. She's pretty clean, though. She, she's a, she cleans her hands like, they're like freaking nuts out here. There are nuts everywhere, though. It's just crazy, you know, this whole thing. This whole thing is crazy. Can't get toilet paper, can't get anything, man. <laughs> Six Panther. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Six Panther, huh? Santan, bro. By Santan? Dude, I have not. I've seen Santan before. I think I've seen them before. I think I thought we had damn tub, double chocolate port. Oh my god. Check this out, man. Looking delicious. Oh. Six nine. 20 IBU, six nines. That's pretty uh that's pretty up there for for a porter, you know. I know, you know, I mean I mean hey, look at the, uh, the the highest ABV that a porter can have. Where it starts going off there. It's a double chocolate porter. Okay. Double chocolate as in double chocolate? Or double porter? <laughs> Lots of love. Addition white wheat gives a sex path for smooth, creamy head. Pairs perfectly with smoked meats and sweet treats. Nice, man. Dang. Wow. Hey. Me likey. What I see. That's also the cologne on that, um, <laughs> what is it, uh, no, Sex Panther, that's on, um, Anchor, Anchorman. <laughs> oh, shit. 
joint a day will keep Corona away. For real. <laughs> and a beer or two or three or four. All that alcohol, you know, you can't go wrong. Oh, oh, really? Funky Buddha makes that. I'm sorry. Shit. I, damn, Santan will go too. Damn. Let me go back there. Nice. Yeah, I didn't know they had one too. Six Panther. Let's look for it. There it is. They love black IPAs, man. It's on draft right now there. India Paleo is uh, obviously. Yeah, no, it's, are you adding Carafa to that? They had uh, Carafa malt, I think, to, for the color, but it still, keep, it still gives it kind of a roasty kind of flavor, but it gives you that, you still retain that IPA flavor. Kind of interesting. It's cool. Oh, I forgot to share the screen. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Sex Panther Black IPA, India Paleo with dark malts. This luscious black IPA is smooth, dark, and dank with hop aroma. Grab a pint and savor it. Natural musk. Nice, man. Hello, it's me again. How are you doing? Already zombie. Elbow, what's up, man? 120 IBUs. It does, dude. I wasn't even paying attention to that. It does. Oh my god. Seven six. I didn't even go through the percentage. I just looked at it. No, seven six and one twenty. That's like really up there. The balance. Are they trying to kick through the darkness or something? I mean, that's high. That's heavy. Seems heavy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's really crazy. What's up, man? RD, how you doing? Elbow. Hey, man. Hey, beer man. Cheers. I, get, I can get funky beer at Buddha at my beer store. Really. He's got a few other. Nice. Yeah, that's right. You're down there. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's funny. I say uh, X Panther. I put it in, and it's like Santan. They have one. Too. They copy them. Who copied who? <laughs> Should be West Coast IPA with the color of a poor. Well, uh, a color of a porter. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> West Coast IPA with color of a porter. Hmm. So that, yeah, so it's basically, uh, I mean, you're getting your citrus, your piney, your those kind of notes and some maybe is there any like kind of a, I've never had I mean it'd be it'd be fun to try. If they always do the the black IPAs they put off a little uh, kind of a roasty like a toastiness or something like a but that, they have a dark side to them but they're they're also very citrusy and very bitter. Uh, like that, I have an IPA, obviously, it's a black IPA. So it's just crazy how it retains the, the IPA flavor, but adds a little bit more um, <clears throat> darkness to it. Um, but I don't know, they're nice. They're, they're interesting. I've always liked them. I've always liked those. Seven, six is up my alley, too. That's like perfect. I like anything six, eight to seven, five. Uh, I don't know what other shit, man. I don't know if it's some more. What other beers do they have, man? Good Night Series, Mixology. Uh, mixology Series. What's the Mixology Series? Funky Buddha Manhattan Double Rye. Oh my God, that sounds good. 
Double ride, yeah. 15 IBUs, 127. Mm. That's nice. Margarita Goza, white sangria paloma, which means, doesn't it mean beautiful? Old fashioned coquito. It's coquito. Rum barrel aged imperial cream ale with coconut, cinnamon, and lactose sugar. Interesting. 11, 4, and 30. Damn. Love the labels. Absolutely love them. What is a Paloma? Let me see this. 10%, 20 IBUs. Tequila barrel aged tart ale with the guava, agave, nectar, grapefruit juice, lime juice, and sea salt. Man, I really like the sound of that. That sounds interesting. Mm. White sangria. 9, 5, 20. Mm -hmm. Chardonnay barrel aged ale with grape, must, apples, peaches, pears, and blood oranges. Yeah, man, that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, it sure does. The goodness series. Cosmic Journey. I think uh, Mag uh, Miscellaneous did this one like that. I thought he did. 5540, Easy IP, Papaya, Guava, Mosaic Hops, Key Lime, Pie, Oh, yeah, yeah. 5%, 10. Berliner style wheat ale with Key Lime Jack. I did that one too. Vanilla cinnamon, wheat malts, key lime, oh my lord. That sounds crazy. Blender styles, their they're blender vices are really, really tart, really bitter. Or like really um, kind of a tart, astringent kind of puckeriness. Tart shake. What the fuck is that? Four, five, ten, creamy, tart, navigation, sour, passion fruit, black carrots, vanilla, and lactose sugars. Fire up the jukebox, belly up to the bar, and shake up things. Tart. Okay. Cool. These are milkshake sour. A milkshake. Milkshake sour. All right, let's go back to you. I'm sorry, guys. We got bamboo in the house. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm How's it going? Right there. Yeah. I'm um, doing well, man. Hold on. Let me get my... I thought I had my mic hooked up. One second. No problem. Sorry to crash the party, but yeah, it's uh, be a good chance for me to unbox um, what you got me. <laughs> good. Awesome. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. You can hear me? All right, so I won the last drawing. This guy got me a big ass box again, and uh, I opened the top. I haven't dug in yet, though, so we'll take a look. Man, bubble wrap. I wonder how. Look at this. I'll pop one of these. <laughs> oh, I can't look at them popping. I'll just set up for the bubble wrap. <laughs> All right. Exhibit A. Let's take a look, guys. Take a look. Beer Man is known for his packaging. <laughs> Giver or lucky enough to receive one of these things. You will understand. <laughs> nice tape, tape action, too. Perfect. Giant bubble. Oop, it might require two incisions. <laughs> I so owe you something, man, just for the just cause. All right. It's a uh Cascadia uh brewing company. Um a Kolsch style ale. No wait, 5440 brewing company. Wow. I never heard of it, but that's you like lighter beers, so I figured you might like these two that I'm giving you. So cool, we'll man. see. <laughs> I'm sure I will. The can looks really cool. Nice, really, really it's a, cool. 
good beer. It's a really good beer. Looking for an easy drinking beer? You found it. The Refreshing Cold Style Ale drinks crisp with subtle notes and honeysuckle and Riesling. A great beer for all your Northwest adventures. German Pilsner Mar Mar Mount Hood and Liberty Hops. Water yeast. 4.8%. All right. Perfect. Thanks so much, man. <laughs> I'm not worthy of all this. Sure you are. Man. Incense. We can all use some good incense. Thank you very much. Rolling papers. <laughs> awesome. What's this? Oh, it's that's actually tobacco, I think. I don't know if oh, you it's uh, a tobacco. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a blunt. I mean, if you don't do it, you can do what you it's want. All right. Some sort of uh, blunt. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, we got. Oh, dude, nice. Look at this. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's like the perfect picture too. Like, how did you like kind of like plan it out? Take a couple takes to get like the perfect. Yeah. Like, did somebody else take that, or was that authentic, or did you have to? My wife took it's, it. <laughs> it's still a great picture. It's a great picture. It's like a Thanks, perfect man. profile of that. You know, perfect. Nice. That's awesome. I want to stick that somewhere, somewhere nice. Cool, man. Another nice sticker. Bridge tunnel. Bottle shop. Hey, what's up, Elbow? Everybody in chat, bless up. up. I'm just blessed enough to come up on here and uh, open up what this guy got me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, that's the bottle shop. Uh -oh. I get all my beers on. Uh oh, I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling. Seems hard. It seems like it might be glass or a bowl. Ooh, nice. Look at this. <laughs> a little yeah. mini bomb. That's awesome. Oh, I left the press tag on it. <laughs> the little pool slide, too. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Dude, man, this is amazing, bro. I don't I don't deserve this, but thank you. Yes, you do. Or maybe I do. I just got lucky. Some people got to get lucky, right? Yeah. Ooh, combos. Nice. Oh, another honey sriracha. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Monkeys come every night, so... I have something. Here we go again, guys. No more. Once again, a second incision is required. For this thing. <laughs> All right. We have a ex novo. Uh, the most interesting lager in the world. Excellent company. Wow, that sounds good. Uh, what does yeah. it say here? Where is it from? Drink beer, do good. Drink beer, do good. Uh, where, uh, where are they out of? New Mexico? Portland. Portland. Or Portland. Yeah. Okay, Mexican style lager, awesome. I'm gonna have to put that in the fridge, get a little cold. I know you like those. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. Oh my God, what did you get here? I think we're at the, almost at the grand finale. Oh my, boy, look at this. Dude. Too much, man, this is like, you get, you're get you very good at hooking it up, man. All right, this is a... Uh, we got a large. I wasn't sure. If it Bridge, was tunnel. Bridge tunnel. Bridge uh, tunnel. Bottle shop. Tap room. Astoria, Oregon. Pretty cool. Yeah, I could rock this for sure, man. Shouldn't be too big. And uh, oh, dude, man. <laughs> I was just like, fuck. I about. I gotta get a lighter. Yeah. <laughs> My shit was dying. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> whoppers. More whoppers. I see. I'll have a couple. Like uh, when I get the sweet tooth, like just have a couple. And then, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, thank you, man. And then it looks like this is the grand finale here. Man, you're just hooking it up again. Um, look at this. A set of two glasses. What? Well, I got there's one in there, and then there's another one I bought. You'll see. 
<laughs> you gotta oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I gotta open it then. You're making yeah. the most. All right. Oh, shit. All right. Let's start the court. Okay, so. The first one that I picked up is a very nice glass. Wow. Um, Luigi's. Better Mioli? Yeah. Mioli? It's Look at that nice glass. It's a very Star nice that's yeah. awesome, man. You're really hooking up my uh my whole uh glass beer drinking uh stock a lot, man. Yes. Cool. You really are. I finally have some decent money. <laughs> yeah. My God. Can you guys believe this? This means you gotta Check out the Beer Man channel all the time because he will he likes to give back too, man. Yes, I do. And we got a nice standard style, kind of standard style, bridge tunnel. That's awesome. It must be like a, just a 12-ouncer, huh? Yeah, I think it, it might be that or maybe even smaller. Might even yeah. be smaller, like a 10 ounce. That's awesome too, man. Dude. Not yeah, bad, man. man. I owe you something for sure. Just <laughs> no, I know no. I did your thing, but I still feel like I gotta get you something. I'll hook you up too. And I, uh, I don't think I have I your just... address, but I'll send you an email so I can get that info sometime. All right, yeah. cool, it's man. Gratitude, it's gratitude, and I appreciate yeah. it, man. That's awesome stuff, bro. Nice, dude. Oh, <laughs> God. Awesome. Hey, yeah, uh, everybody, get your beer man stickers. <laughs> Get on. <laughs> right? Doesn't that look fucking awesome? Thank you. God damn, man. Thanks. <laughs> and I was pretty I... impressed with them, to be honest. <laughs> I like may, I say, may I say cheers to you and of cheers course. to everybody? Thank yeah. You. Yeah, wow. cheers, dude. Congratulations. Yeah, this is like one of the better times for me. I know you do a lot of things early now, and I just can't catch them because I don't get home usually from work till later. And, you know. Right. So I got a different schedule. On, <laughs> no problem, man. No problem at all. Anytime. But we got to do a uh, a cheese pizza, like a frozen pizza beer review. Everybody gets yeah. a frozen pizza, pops in an oven. We could. We could do a, like a spur of the moment kind of deal, you know, or like a, a little, yeah. you know, something a little different than, than usual. Maybe yeah, next week we'll get some. So that'd be fun. That'd totally be done. I would do jerky. I would love to do jerky, but. You know, yeah, you, you told me you, you can't really do veggie jerky. <laughs> right. Yeah, I didn't know I so, I didn't know that either. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, so yeah, man. Yeah, that's, I appreciate it, though, man. That's a now I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So well cool, man. Right on, dude. How's oh it going? Drugs, elbow, mercy, everybody. Great to see you guys. Real good to see you guys, man. Nice so, to yeah, meet. I totally uh, understand if you're not trying to do it, like, too long, but have yeah. a beer. Oh, yeah, dude. No, we'll, we'll, we're we going to definitely have a beer together, bro. This is fun. I, I ran out of things to say. I was just looking at the freaking site and doing whatever. Yeah. I had no idea what I was yeah. doing. So, yeah. I don't know. But how was your day today, man? Busy day? or? Well, uh, just a normal Saturday. I went into work just for a little bit just to try to catch up for next week and uh, – other than oh, that, weekend, chill, chilled out, did some history shit, did some research, put up editing stuff, and then just hanging out and chilling. Took a long ass nap, which is amazing. Good. Yeah. Took a nap from like four to like six thirty, man. It was great. Wow. That yeah. is a long nap. I try <laughs> to catch up on some sleep, you know. Right. But other than that, it's just kind of weird kind of vi uh, vibe going on, man. I mean, what with what's going on with this uh virus? Uh um, right. It's changing a lot of things, man. Just shutting down basically all the sports. That's a big thing, man. I'm a pretty big sports fan, so. Thanks, John. Yeah. Little things like that. It has a ripple effect. I haven't really noticed too much uh, shortages in the stores that I go to. I've already stocked up on a lot of goods for, for months, you know. So I got shitload of canned goods and, and dried foods. Yeah. Things like that. Um, I guess you never know. I mean, everything's gone. It's How like about you though? Have you guys town. been have you guys been trying to stay ahead of it and like have a stock of non-perishables and shit that can last for a couple years? Whether it's canned foods, dried goods, rice, beans, shit like that. I, I hate water. to say it, but no. 
You should probably get on it, man, just in case, because uh, I don't know. I've been open to a lot of things, and I don't know. I hate to be doomsday, but I don't know at all. Nobody does, but what I have been feeling and understanding for the last four, five, six years at least, shit has been going to be happening. And uh, this year was a projection of me and many people to be when shit starts to go crazy a little bit. Um, huh. so. That's crazy. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Definitely stock up on food if you can, man. I mean, I don't know if you've been catching up with it at all, but apparently a lot of places are just like getting... Everything's washed up. up. Yeah. Yeah. Like the grocery chains right now are the ones making the most money out of any business out there. I mean, everything's getting affected by it. Everything's... It, it's crazy what's going on. You know, it, it really is. Um, of course, once... Uh, you know, once springtime comes, I'm sure a lot of things will fizzle down with the with all that virus thing uh, and all that. May, but maybe though, I don't know. The thing is, they don't have a containment on, and it's also also the 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 agenda. The people that run this whole world, they're trying to use this for an advantage, and I can't believe everything they say. But they're going to be pushing this fear for a long time, and uh, right. so it's it's a way of just uh, control for them, you know. <laughs> And they're yeah. trying to tighten it down even more. So, I would ask you, like, uh, how how if you couldn't get any more food and you only could survive on the food you have in your house, how long do you think you could last? Oh shoot, man! Probably a few days. <laughs> man, all right. How much? How much dog food, cat food, do you guys have stacked up? Um, just what's in our probably about 25, 30 pounds left. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm I know saying. what you're saying. Though. I gotta go to Costco. Yeah. Costco's been really. Costco's yeah. been ravaged. Just yeah, try to go anywhere yeah. you can. Yeah. Go anywhere yeah. you can, you know. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy. I'm not saying it you have is. to get it all in one day, but I mean, you know, it's good for everybody, even in the chat, hearing this. Like, it's good to just be prepared a little bit. You know, have enough food, and right. water, yeah, get a yeah. water filter, get a Brita or something like that. That's all you can get. Toilet paper, yeah, we need toilet paper, but if you're not gonna be able to eat. What difference is toilet paper? The, the toilet paper thing. <laughs> you got a wash rag, you, 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 you get a shower, you take a bath, whatever, you know. There was times when they didn't have toilet paper. People still survived. <laughs> you know? Go in the bathtub and wash your ass. You know, just make sure yeah. you clean the tub afterwards. <laughs> salt, have some salt, have some baking soda, have uh, some flour if you can get that. Dried goods, rice, beans, lentils, yeah. canned goods. Pasta pantry stuff. Shit that can just last for cruiser. two, three years, you know. So cruiser. Yeah. So yeah, noodles vitamins. Like that, rice and yeah. Vitamins noodles. are key. Vitamins. Get, get yeah. your vitamins. Get, if you need medicine, I mean you better have medicine enough for like a, at least a month. My wife's got that covered. She's yeah, yeah. she we got a ton so of it's been a regular day, but it's just like a, it's a crazy times, man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's um, crazy. Uh, I, I don't, yeah, and I know it's like it's they want this to happen. They're they're manipulating this. Drunk Rampage, what's up? What's up, Drunk yeah. Rampage? They they push it, you know. They I, I uh, sometimes media kind of pushes it a little more than they should, but um again, that's that's kind of on the political end of it. Really yeah, yeah. There. I'm sorry to but, get into um, that. <laughs> Let's talk beer but, uh, again. <laughs> By the way, this beer is really good. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> so I'm good, sorry dude. to crash it, but thank oh, you for letting yeah. me come up on here and open up your amazing package, man. I'm glad, dude. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm you grateful. came by, man. I'm very I'm grateful. Awesome. Awesome. And I'm grateful to give it to you. So I'm very happy. I'm happy you uh, support me, my channel. So thank you for that. Dude. I appreciate it. And yeah. everybody else hearing this, you know, just stay low. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen, man. We got good people always coming up in here, and that's why I've always – been a fan of this channel man so many things i connect to not just beer but you know down to earth kind of styles and personalities and <laughs> nobody gives a damn what's you know what you really want to say in your in your opinions too much it's all about just coming together you know and beer right. is the focus right on, i'm down with that hell yeah no and that's some a herb some herb for sure yeah <laughs> yeah no the first one of the first streams i remember you were on you're like bumping reggae in the back and I was like, what? He had I know. I beer, know. smoke a little weed, and he had reggae in the background. I was like, oh, shit. Nice. I didn't know all the rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, at the time. <laughs> yeah. You know, months ago. That was like oh, last, 
probably summer last summer probably right dude that's crazy oh drunken yeah. rampage i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it uh on the low i had bamboo was just opening his package you want i gave him the link on the back side but um maybe next time i'll do a an open panel i'm probably gonna get off eventually in the in the near and near future here um yeah but yeah no bro, no just so glad that you were able to open no this right you came by i really am no, that, that, man, was, man. that made me happy seeing that <laughs> it did it yeah. always does so anytime you want to shut down man just let me know right. <laughs> well I'm, wanna... I'm good <laughs> okay. no i'm good uh you know when you're when you're when you're good there i'm good here so um okay mountain man what's up dude oh shit i just found a virus in my bottle of corona <laughs> Oh uh, shit! You know what? I was never. Some people like Corona. I, I don't know. I kind of <laughs> grew to not like it too much. Corona. It wasn't like my Pacifica, though. That's that's better. Pacifica, huh? though, there's a different. Yeah, man. To is me, it? to me, this has a. It's just. I don't know. You don't. To me, I got like a kind of a nasty oh like aftertaste from Corona after a while. Wow. As my taste buds grew, but this is doesn't have that. I'm gonna have to. I'll pick me a sixer of that up for a session one night. I'll, I'll get yeah. that and uh, we'll drink it. Yeah, for sure. Together, come on, my pal. We'll drink some Pacifico. For sure. And let's so, do a man. cheese pizza review. Let's we do a frozen that, pizza. Dude, let's do a frozen fun. pizza panel, man. You can have we pepperoni can. or just cheese. You know. I'll plan that. Right? I'll plan. We'll get that plan. Let's yeah, and I'll start a little later. See if we show up too. Everybody you know? in chat, I want to say thank you, Thomas, <laughs> Drunken Mountain Rain, Cruiser Mac, Elbow, John. <laughs> Juggalo, how you doing? Jugs, hope you're doing all right, man. Mercy, uh, RD Zombie, Sunfish, Middle Fra, good day. Everybody that came in, Mr. Bean, Lone Star, Peter D, Corey. What's up? Dagon Hills, thank you guys. Thank you, Beer Man. Maybe, yeah, uh, any projections next uh, next time you're going to go live? or? Um, I'm going to do uh, tomorrow, will be a, I'm going to do it on OBS, so single solo. Okay. It'll be my beer tribute. And then, um, Monday, I'm doing multi Monday with uh, with uh, Bumpy Road Brewery, and then I'll do my yeah. He does multi Monday at 5 p.m. our time, and okay. then Tuesday and Wednesday or Tuesday I'm doing the cheese and beer, yeah, which is actually Patty's Day, and then Thursday I'm gonna move it to Thursday, not Wednesday, and do the jerky one. But maybe what time maybe, is your uh, Tuesday cheese gonna start? Um. Oh, we can actually do cheese pizza instead. Actually, that would be well. Cool. It doesn't have to be pizza, but I mean, I'm saying like I could eat cheese. You know, like, like cool, dude. Know, it's come our, on late. Yeah, come on a little bit late and like have a cheese and beer. You can party. come on late, and I'll let you on like after. You know what I'm saying? Like I can, I'll send you the link and just come up whenever you want. You know, and maybe I'll just let you. Up. You were probably thinking of starting at like six p.m. Pacific, or maybe five, early, right? five. Five, but but if you're up. And you're here, and you want to come up. You just let me know. You'll already have the. Right. Just check your email. I'll send cool. the link to you. Just right bring on. a beer and bring bring your pe you know your cheese or pizza if you want. That's yeah, good. I'll keep that in mind. I might not be able to catch it, but uh, I'll try. Yeah, no problem, dude. No problem, man. No Other problem. than that, man. Thanks a lot, beer man. I'll talk to you soon, hopefully. Everybody right, in the man. chat, bless up, Cheryl Crawford. I miss you. Everybody Cheers, have a bro. good night. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll see you somewhere soon, everybody. Definitely. Peace. Cheers, man. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Bamboo. I appreciate it, man. Uh, that was fun. That was fun to see that. So um, glad I, I'm glad I can uh, put a smile on your face and uh, give you a little multi-package deal there, you know? Kind of fun to get gifts, right? So congratulations, and um, uh, that was fun. And uh, thank you, everyone, for showing up. Um, like Bamboo mentioned, uh, you guys, uh, all you guys there, you know, a mountain man, a cruiser, uh, Thomas. What's up, Thomas? Um, Junk and Rampage. Let me just, I'm just going back to the list here. Elbow, John Brooks, Juggalo. Man, you guys are awesome. Mercy, what's up, Mercy? Artie Zombie, uh, Sunfish for Fish, Cheryl Crawford, Good Day, what's up? Peter D, Lone Star, Mr. Bean, Corey, what's up? Corey Nishwanda, and uh, Dagon Hills. Hell yeah, Middle Fro, Paul, what's up, dude? Gotcha Heaven. Oh, you guys are great, man. Much love to all you guys, man. Thank you for your support, for being here. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, cool. So I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful evening. Much love from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>
Cheers, guys. All right.